Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix updating field. The response is not a valid JSON response error. So this error message occurs when you publish or update content on your WordPress website. Now before we talk about how to fix this error, let's look at possible causes of this error. Now plugins or team conflict can cause this error. So if you have conflict between your plugins or teams, it can interfere with the update process and it can result to this error. Now low PHP memory can lead to this error. If you have insufficient PHP memory, this can trigger this error. And also server resource limitation. If your web hosting server has resource limitation, this can lead to this error. Now caching issues can lead to this error. Now cache data can sometimes interfere with updates. Also, most security rules can also lead to these errors. Now, most security rules on a server may block or modify responses. And again, outdated softwares like plugins, teams, or WordPress core can lead to this error. So let's look at ways of fixing this error. So the first method to fix this error is to clear our cached data. Sometimes cached data can interfere with updates. So you can clear your browser's cache and any other caching plugins you might have installed on your WordPress website. So to clear your browser's cache, you go to your web browser settings. So from here, I'm using Google Chrome. I'll click here, then I'm going to go to settings. Then I'll search for cache, and I'll click on clear browsing cache. Then you can click on the basic option or the advanced option. I'm going to click on advanced. Now you have the option to select these fields. I'm just going to leave this as a default settings. Then you click on clear data. Now, if the previous method doesn't work, another method to fix this error is to test your website using a different browser. Now try updating the contents using a different web browser to rule out browser specification issues. So if you're starting your web browser or trying a different browser doesn't fix this error, now the next method is to disable mode security or any security plugin on your WordPress website. Now for my cPanel, I'll search for mode security, then I'll click on mode security. So here, I'm going to disable the settings. So from here, I'll click on disable all. So the most security has been disabled successfully. Now check your website and upload the particular content to see if this method has fixed the error. Now if the error has been fixed successfully, you can go back and enable the most security. So I'll come back here and enable my security. Now after disabling the most security or any security plugins you have on your WordPress website and it doesn't fix the error, and the next method is to refresh your network settings, your internet connection. Now you can check your website to see if the error has been fixed successfully. Now after refreshing your internet connection and the error doesn't go away, now the next method is to check our WordPress URL settings. So the first thing we need to make sure is that our WordPress address and our site address are correct. So to do that, I'll go to settings and I'll click on general. Then ensure that your WordPress address and your site address are the same. So you can see that my WordPress address is the same as my site address. So you scroll up and you save your changes. So my settings has been saved successfully. Now try uploading a particular content on your WordPress website and check if this method has fixed the error. Now if the previous method doesn't fix this error, the next method is to fix WordPress permalink structures. So I'll go to settings. From here, I'll click on permalinks. So from here, I have my permalink set to post name. Now you can use any default settings here or you can just use the plain settings. But here I'm going to click post name and I'll scroll up and I'll save my changes. Now try uploading a particular content on your WordPress website to check if this method has fixed the error. And if the previous method doesn't fix this error, the next method is to deactivate our plugins and our team. So I'll go to plugins, I'll click on installed plugins. Now from here, I'm going to select all my plugins. Now click on the bulk actions, I'll click on deactivate, then I'll apply my changes. So my plugins has been deactivated successfully. Now you check your website to see if the error has been fixed. And if the error has been fixed, that means one of the plugins on your website is causing this error. Now what to do here is to activate the plugins one after the other to see the plugin that is causing this error. Now if after deactivating your plugins and reactivating it and the error has not been fixed, the next method is to switch to a default team. I'll go to appearance, I'll click on teams. Now switch to a default team, which is 2021. I'll click on activate. So my team has been activated successfully. Now you check your website and upload the particular content to see if this error has been fixed. Now if after switching to a default team and the error has not been fixed, the next method is to switch to a default classic editor. Now to switch to a default classic editor, we'll go to plugins. Now from here, we'll click on add new. And here is the classic editor. 
and I'll click on install now. Now activate the plugin. So my plugin has been activated successfully. Now try uploading a particular content and check if the error has been fixed. So if all the previous methods doesn't work out, now feel free to contact Harmon Web Support Team to help you fix this error or contact your web hosting support team to help fix this error. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope today's video has helped you out. Feel free to drop your question in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to our channels to be updated with our latest content. Thank you guys.